joy of spring cleaning and the things you find. Now, for one Utah skier, he discovered a bit of nostalgia. Kristen Kenny has more in this Eye on Utah. What would you do if you stumbled upon these Alta gift certificates from 1970? They're good for one, one area of day pass at Alta. Well, for Ryan Kendrick of Salt Lake City, he recently sparked attention on social media with these relics. Hey, Alta ski area. Are these 54-year-old gift certificates still good? It was pretty funny. They said, seeing as there's no expiration date, we'd be more than happy to honor these. But it didn't stop there. Which old ski park a pocket did you find these in, and can we borrow it for closing weekend? <laughs> and even another resort got in the mix. Deer Valley actually chimed in. We will give you two days at Deer Valley. And then Alta responded to them and said, stay out of this, whippersnappers. You weren't even born when these were issued. So, did he take them up on the offer? No, they, 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 they have a lot more value to, to our family sentimentally, and so we'll hold on to them. Of course, because these passes represent much more than just pieces of paper. This was uh, a day up at Snow Basin. He was uh, teaching us how to ski. They're keepsakes that hold memories of his late father. My dad passed away a few years ago and my mom was going through a filing cabinet. When she stumbled upon the passes. Seven dollars for each of these, so my dad spent 14 whopping dollars on these. And so it's uh, it's kept up well with, with inflation. But priceless today. These are my first ski boots ever. Oh, the nostalgia and joy that these brought. It's just been a fun way to remember him and um, you know the times that we spent with him skiing. And Alta, watch out. He's not done yet. Pretty good he might show up down the road with these gems. I think it might be kind of fun 20 years from now to just show up at the ticket office and show them and see see if they'll accept 75-year-old uh, ski passes. Kristen Kenny, KUTV 2 News.